Well, if you're looking to create a spa-like environment at your home, yes, the <laughs> spice and tea exchange may be able to help. Yeah, earlier I actually spoke with the head of creative, Kristen Lorenz, who taught me how to make a matcha green tea mask, as well as how to set the mood with a candle and tea pairing. But I just had to know, what exactly is matcha and what are its benefits? Matcha is ground green tea. So it specifically comes from Japan, so Japanese green tea leaves. And so when you think about all the reasons why we're drinking green tea, for the antioxidants, the amino acids, and all those benefits. Well, imagine grinding the tea leaves and consuming that entirely. So from green tea to matcha, it's about, you know, 30 times the benefits um, oh. and also the caffeine, so to speak. So matcha is also, you know, we drink matcha for not only that big boost of, of clean caffeine um, and mental clarity, but, you know, it removes toxins, it helps boost metabolism. Um, so it's really, it's really a, a wonder powder. Sure. Okay, you're gonna teach us how to make a mask though, right? So it's just four simple ingredients. Um, I went ahead, there is um, some olive oil and water. So a teaspoon of olive oil, a half teaspoon of water, our um, spice and tea exchange matcha tea comes in a very easy resealable zip top bag. And I'm just gonna take a teaspoon of it. Ding, put that in. And then lastly, very easy, a honey stick. Um, so we have a new line of, of honeys. Um, this is an orange blossom varietal. Really has no flavor, but you're, we're just gonna simply whoop, put that in carefully. I remember eating those things as a kid. <laughs> no, we actually have a lot of cool flavors of them. You can still do it. But what's great about these is that um, they are, it equals out to one teaspoon. Oh, perfect. So whether you have a stick or have honey at home, um, it's, it, it equates to one teaspoon. And then last but not least, we're just going to mix this up until it's nice and smooth. So it takes only but a couple seconds. But just to be quick about it, I have one ready to go. And it looks like that. And as you can see, it's still pourable. And then this is also a great tool. A lot of us have little uh, facial brushes. If you don't have one, you can easily just use your fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, you're just gonna wanna put this all over just like you would. And I'm very far away from a mirror right now. So I <laughs> won't be doing this all over, but you get the gist. And then as it dries, it will slightly lighten in color. Um, and then you're gonna leave it on for about 15 minutes. So for the sake of this interview, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off. <laughs> Sounds good. So why, you know, all the reasons why we're drinking matcha, a lot of those benefits translate to our skin. And, you know, not only, and by putting it topically directly on our skin, we're reaping those benefits, you know, far, far quicker. So, um, it can, other ways that it can support our skin is it can fight acne, it can help fight blemishes and aging. And then getting back to that very vital ingredient, those antioxidants that are so high in high in content in matcha, you know, they can help mitigate against those free radical damage. And um, it can also help um, improve and support the elasticity of our skin. And you also have some other nice little touches to keep us cozy, right? Yes, so while you have that mask on, you've got 15 minutes of probably not running around running errands. So why not really take this spa environment um, to the next level and then um, pair it with a one of our artisanal soy um, candles and a matching wellness tea. So two that I'm featuring today is Elderberry Fortress. Um, all of our soy candles are made with, scented with essential oils that are inspired by some of our best selling and favorite tea blends. Um, so Elderberry Fortress, as well as the herbal tea to match. And then this one over here is mint basil with the matching tea as well. And you're using loose leaf tea. Tell us why that's so much more beneficial. A lot of times when um, sachets or tea bags are made, um, the whole leaf is not used. Sometimes it's remnants or cuttings of a leaf. And by using the whole leaf and whole ingredients, um, that way we're getting the highest quality in flavor, aroma, volatile oils, as well as benefits from whatever wellness properties that, you know, ingredients might have within the tea. Um, you know, whole, whole leaf brewing is, is always preferred. Where can we go for more information? 
So um, from a digital standpoint, please visit us at spiceandtea.com from there, as well as in one of our 80 stores nationwide, you will find a full selection, whether you are a novice in the kitchen or in your wellness world, to an experienced chef. Um, we have over you know, 80 um, seasoning blends and infused sugars, artisanal salts, um, as well as over 40 loose leaf teas and all of the accessories you need to brew with them, drink them in, measuring, you got it. Thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Jordan, good seeing you again. You too, and if you'd like to see this segment again or get more information, go to firstcoastliving.net.